Today in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to stay in real estate and kick some serious butt in 2024. The first thing is this, and it's pretty much the only thing this video is gonna be about, and that is marketing. That's right, marketing. The reason why probably over 100,000 agents left in 2023 is because they are still doing old school techniques like open houses, door knocking, cold calling, pop buys, all that stuff. I want you to start thinking about becoming a marketer. Yeah, I'm Chris to make sure I was in real estate for 17 years. Now I coach realtors across the country, but I sold over 2,300 homes during my 17 year time frame, averaging 135 homes a year in every type of market, including the market that you're in right now. How did I do that? I became a marketer. Marketing and innovation is the backbone behind any business. Think about it. Even if you're a new agent, near the splash, that test taught you absolutely nothing about how to run a business or how to be a real estate agent. This video is going to tell you exactly how to stay top of mind and crush real estate in 2024. The first thing is, people need to know who you are. It matters who you know, but you wanna know what it matters even more is who knows you. Anytime somebody thinks about real estate, they need to be thinking about you. So you ask yourself, well, great, Krista, how do I do that? And maybe I'm new. How do I do that if I'm new? Nobody knows that you're new. Perception is reality. So if you start curating content that is hyper-specific locally to your city, to the neighborhoods, what's happening around the area, talk about real estate, both locally and nationally, and get that information, get those videos like the video that you're watching now onto social channels like YouTube, run Facebook ads, TikTok, Reels, Get the information out there. That's the number one thing I can tell you to do and make sure you do it consistently. But why is this gonna help you? Because people are gonna know who you are. They're gonna see you talking about real estate, see you talking about the neighborhoods. They're gonna see you going out there and interviewing maybe local businesses or other local professionals. And they are going to think about you when they think about real estate. That is your goal. You have to make sure that you are giving valuable content. What are your competitors doing? I just listed this, just sold that. I'm so great, look at me. Nobody cares, but you know what they do care about? They care about real estate. They care about the prices in their neighborhood. Think about this. When you see a sign go up in your neighbor, what's the first thing that you do? First, you're pissed off they didn't hire you. And guess what? You should be, but it's your fault because they forgot about you. The second thing you do is you go pull the flyer if there is one, or you go into the MLS and you look up who the agent is and how much you listen to the house for. Why do you do this? because you care about real estate. So if you care about real estate, don't you think others do too? Let me ask you a question. When you go to a party and somebody knows that you are a real estate agent or a lender, what do they ask you? How's the market? That's exactly right. They ask you, how's the market? Your job is to tell people about the market and what's happening. Be the go-to trusted real estate. Again, Anytime somebody thinks about real estate, they need to think about you. And if they don't think about you or know you before they're ready to take action to buy or sell, you are too late. According to the National Association of Realtors, buyers on average start looking and thinking about buying houses between three and six months before they actually take action. I did a study recently with other brokers from across the nation and we found out that that set is closer to 11 months which means that when a buyer first makes contact or starts doing research, it takes about 11 months for them to actually take action. So you can start developing the know, like, trust, authority relationship well in advance. And this will also lead to what? More referrals. People will refer you that don't even know you because they're watching your content. They're, you're educating them, you're adding value. If you go online when you wanna go to a nice restaurant, when you wanna eat pizza, where do you think buyers and sellers are going? They are going online. So you've got to show up where buyers are looking, high valuable local specific content that's important to them. And I guarantee you that if you do this and you do it consistently, you will sell more real estate, especially if you do it consistently. And make sure when you create this content, you do what I call video repurposing. Put it on multiple platforms. Add the titles, add the subtitles. Did you know that 80% of the videos are watched without sound? So add the subtitles to it. Put the videos on your website, put them everywhere. And before you know it, you are going to dominate real estate. And hey, here's the deal. If you are gonna do an open house, do it correctly. Get a QR code, put it on a flyer, on a picture frame, in the home. Drive that QR code to a video about the neighborhood. It's all about video content and educating people. Is this making sense to you? Can't you see how this works? If you're still watching this video right now, you should be like, 
Well, duh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm watching a video, educating myself. And that's exactly what you wanna do in your community. And here's the deal. You don't need any fancy equipment. You don't need a $5,000 Sony a camera. You don't need lights or a green screen. You just need your cell phone. Get in front of a window so you have natural light on you. Make sure there's no, you know, trains in the background or dirty underwear on the floor and just hit record. And guess what? We know you're nervous. You're afraid of what you look like, what you sound like, if you're gonna make mistakes. I've made plenty of mistakes on this video and you are still watching if you're watching this right now. That's okay. You will get better with time. You can add graphics with time. And here's the deal. You're gonna suck when you first start. And you're gonna suck a little bit less and a little bit less after that. But you've got to start. And here's the deal, people. When you go on a listing appointment, you're gonna meet with a buyer or a seller. You can't say, hold on a second, let me repeat that. Hold on a second, let me edit that. Hold on a second, let me redo that. No, you gotta just talk. Just pick up the camera and talk. Do a few bullet points that you know about, about real estate or about your subject matter and just speak to the camera. Act like you're talking to someone. Get a little bit basketball head and speak to that head as if it were a real person and you will get better. Practice makes perfect. Good is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. Good enough to move on. I call it get mo. Get mo business, get mo buyers, get mo sellers by being good enough to move on. If this is helpful for you, which it should be, do me here somewhere on along this page, you can set up my unstoppable agent event. It's where we teach agents digital marketing strategies along with social media, how to be the community mark leader in your town, even if you're brand new. This even helps the top producers. You know why? Because you still are doing the old school stuff as well. We teach innovative techniques that less than 1% of agents are doing correctly nationwide. Sign up and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.